Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to the wonderful world of BMS Music and Simulators. No matter if you're new or already familiar with rhythm games, I'll help you with the basics of playing this game format. First, let's introduce the controller. It has a turntable and seven keys in two rows. On these seven keys, four in the lower and three in the upper row, the melodies, drums and other samples will be played. The lower keys have white notes, upper keys have blue notes. There is also a turntable at the side, either on the left or right. Depending on what you prefer, you can play either on the left or right side of the screen as well. Turntable notes are red. These require spinning the disc forward or backwards. If you don't have a dedicated controller, you can always use the keyboard for playing as well. In this case, you can press Shift or Control for the turntable and the following keys for either side. For simplicity, I'll refer to the controls on what they'd normally be on a controller. Please feel free to play around with the buttons for a moment. Okay, now that you're familiar with the controls, let me explain how the game is played. Notes will scroll down from the top of the screen and approach the red timing line. When the notes and line overlap, press the corresponding key. The more notes you hit with proper timing, the higher the gauge will rise. Have this gauge be at 80% or above at the end of the song to clear it. Let's start simple. Try to press the key on the 4th beat. Three, two, one. Yeah. Get ready! Now it's your time to play. Let's go with a simple pattern next. Press the keys in the following order. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will be moving between a few keys this time. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was great. Next, we'll try some scratch notes. Get ready to spin the turntable. Beware that the turntable is not just a button, but needs to be rotated in either direction. To hit multiple scratch notes in a row, you have to change the direction of turning rapidly. Don't be afraid to try the turntable on the other side to see what you're more comfortable with. Now then, let's try a scratch on the 4th beat. Three, two, one. Same as with the key, but on the turntable this time. Alright, now let's try a pattern with three scratches. Try to go back and forth to the beat. Nice! Now that you know the basic notes and patterns, let's continue. In this section, I'll be showing you long notes. For these, a key will have to be held for the entire duration. There are three types to watch out for. Long notes, charge notes, and hell notes. Long notes only need to be held. It's that simple. However, charge long notes require the button to be held and let go when it ends. Hell long notes are a bit more complex. When you hold them, the gauge increases. When you let go, it decreases. To get you accustomed to the occasional charge that will use them, I'll be using the charge version in this tutorial. Okay, let's try this one. Press on the second beat and release on the fourth beat. Just follow the rhythm and you can do it. Okay, let's try another key. Yeah! You can 
guess what's coming up next? That's right, long scratch notes. To take care of these, you will have to keep spinning the disc. At the very end, you might encounter an ending scratch. Simply turn the table to the opposite side. Now, the final lesson. Start the spin on the first beat and end it on the fourth beat. Let's see if you can handle this. Great! One final pattern. Start, stop, start, stop. That's everything you need to know to get started with playing BMS songs. If the final section may have been too hard, don't be afraid to start on lower levels first. One final scratch note is coming up to end this song. Then you can explore the big world of BMS songs. I'm wishing you good luck and lots of beautiful memories on your BMS journey. Farewell!